hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new and you like makeup beauty hair or hauls then please consider subscribing so today i'm going to be testing some more products from zc makeup so i have the new eyeshadow palette this is the newest one that they've released which is the old disco bar palette cute really like the look of this one i've got a highlighter which is equally adorable and I also have a really fancy, very bougie lipstick as well. So first up, this is the eyeshadow palette. So as I say, this is the old Disco Bar palette. So this is the packaging of the palette itself. I love this. I lo There's a lot of companies going with this kind of 90s theme at the moment. And I'm absolutely here for it. I think it is super, super cute. So this is the palette itself. They had a pink based one, like a nudie pink one. And then they had this kind of purpley one. And I went for this one. And this is the colour story inside. These are beautiful, really lovely. I'm loving the look of these two kind of mauvey shades. So I'll give these a quick swatch for you as well. So here's the swatches from the, the whole palette. These are so nice. They really are. I found that with the last palette that I swatched, that they were absolutely stunning stunning pigment they swatch like an absolute dream and look at those shimmers I mean beautiful and then we have this absolutely adorable highlighter you wait till you see this so this is the space cat highlighter how cute is that packaging and then this is the highlighter itself look Whee! it's like a compass so you know I can explain it. It's kind of like a, a compass. But then when you open it up, it, it doesn't spin anymore. So, you know, when you're using it, it's not going to be an issue. It's kind of just a bit of a gimmicky thing, really. But I just think it's so cute. So, look, we've got a little a little peekaboo cat face in there. Oh, I, I love this. I really do. <laughs> and, yeah, this one is in the shade Secura Havana. And there's the swatches of these ones. So what I've done is I've done the paler shade just here and then, I, whoops, sorry. And then I've done the pinkier shade, so the cat's paws. And then I've also mixed the two together so that you can see the three of them. Beautiful, really nice highlighters. I do love ZC highlighters, I have to say. And then last but not least is the Palace Identity Lipstick. This is the Dragon Velvet Lipstick. Oh, stunning. And then, as I say, this is the Palace Identity Dragon Velvet Lipstick. Now, this packaging is just out of this world. It really is. I think it's beautiful. So we've got a little ribbon pull bit here. So we pull that out and then inside, there's this little like, Chinesey, I'm not sure what it is, and I wouldn't even want to guess what it says, but it just well, it says gold dragon on it, so it probably translates to gold dragon. So, yeah, that's a really lovely touch. And then we have the lipstick in here, like, oh my gosh, look at that! In here, I'm sorry, but what? Look at this, it's like a work of art, it really is. This is going to have to go on display. So we take this really good quality as well. It's kind of like um, quite weighty. On the actual lipstick itself, it's got some Chinese writing here. And then look, we've got etched into it this beautiful design. It's almost too pretty to use, but look at the colour as well. It's so nice. I went for like a, a brownie nude shade. Stunning. So yeah, that's what the shade is. This one is M10. They're in numbers. But yeah, I think it's a beautiful shade. It's got a little bit of a pinky undertone. It's like a brownie nude with a pinky undertone, I'd say. Yeah, really, really nice. I'm so excited to use these because from the swatches, they seem such nice quality. And the packaging itself is really nice quality as well. So let's get stuck in. Right, okay, so I have prepped my eyelids. I've used the Be Perfect uh, Perfect Prime, which I always use. And I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to start off by just setting my primer with this one just in the corner here, which is closest to my skin tone. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So not much to see there. As I always say when I do one of these shades, it is just to set my primer and that's it. But it's worked well for that. Okay, and then next I think I'm going to go in with this one at the bottom here. So it's kind of like a, a mauvey, mauvey pink shade. And I'm going to use that right in my crease and probably just above as well. Yeah, really, really nice, beautiful pigment. And it went on so well. Right, so what I'm going to do is just blend the edge of that out. And I'm going to go in with the, I think we're just going to use the original colour that I used to set my crease, just to sort of, you know, disperse those edges a bit, really. That's really nice. I like that. And then right into my crease, so kind of just underneath, like in there, I'm going to go in with the slightly darker, yeah, the slightly darker kind of purple shade, which was this one just here. Yeah, okay, it might not look like much when you when you look at it compared to the other colour, but when you look at this eye compared to this eye, that one's more pinky, and then that's kind of given it just that little bit of a purple colour just there. It's really hard to explain, but I hope it's coming across on camera. <laughs> Fantastic. And then I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade here. I actually really like the fact that they've put this dark brown one in because I find a lot of the time with palettes, like with a, a colour theme like purples, pinks, greens, whatever, that there's always like either a black or a darker brown missing from the, pa from the palette. And I think it's a really good thing that they've put one in. Oh, it's got some beautiful pigment as well. Really nice. Yeah, nice. So kind of like that. Okay, and then right on the inner part here, I'm going to go in with a shimmer and I'm going to go for the purple one, I think. So it was this one here. Quite a kind of wet-ish formula that one so it's not going on that great with that brush I'm going to try a slightly denser brush this is a, a unicorn cosmetics I think this is the, the class of 81 I think it was yeah that's better because it's a bit denser oh that's pretty
almost feels like a bit of a, a cream, but it's got that kind of chameleon flake look to it. It looks like it's got big chunks of, of glitter. I don't know if you can see. It looks like it's got big chunks of, li of glitter, but it hasn't. They're kind of like, um, yeah, flakes almost. Really nice. It gives that kind of like chromey effect. Oh, I like that a lot. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to blend it into the matte shade. Oh, I love that so much. That is such a nice colour. And it goes on really nice as well. It, it as, as I say, it feels a bit like a cream eyeshadow. But I don't know if it is or not. I really don't. It's weird. It, it goes on. I, I just can't explain it. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. But it's really nice. Yes, very, very nice. Right, so underneath, I'm going to take the dark brown again. So this one here, and I'm just going to smoke that underneath. Very nice. Right, so in a corners, I'm going to go in with, hmm, right, I think what I'm going to do is use this one here on my inner corner and then the one at the top here, I'm going to use that on my brow bone. Oh, that's pretty. It's quite glittery for an inner corner shade, but at the same time, with it being like a, a kind of disco base palette, it's, um, yeah, it's suited to the palette, if you know what I mean. And I quite like it. Yeah, cute. Right, okay, so I'm just going to go and pop some mascara on and then I'll come back and we'll try the highlighter and the lipstick. Right, okay, so that's that done. So next I'm going to go in with the highlighter. So as I say, it's this one here, so the Space Cat highlighter. And I think I'm just going to kind of randomly go in. Loose hair on my brush. Right. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. See, I do love ZC highlighters. I think they just catch the light so nice. And they're not too bitty. They're quite smooth as well. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm a big fan of that. Really, really lovely highlighter. Right, so then we've got the lipsticks. Oh, I just love this so much. It's just, look at it. It's just stunning. It is heavy though. Right, okay. So I think I'm going to line my lips first. Okay, so I'm going to go in with one of the Doll Beauty She Fine Liners in Spice Up Your Life. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the lipstick. I'm 
just noticed it smells oh it smells like vanilla ice cream yeah that is a beautiful nude it's actually a bit lighter than i thought it was going to be but that's fine i think it's really nice oh so pleased right okay okay so this is the finished look and i love this again the last time i tried cc i was over the moon with it and i am equally as over the moon this time as well i think it's such nice makeup i really do the palette absolutely stunning the mattes blended beautifully lovely pigment this shimmer i can't get over how beautiful that is and it hasn't transferred either it stayed exactly where i wanted it exactly where i put it and it hasn't creased or anything like that beautiful um the highlighter stunning really really nice i'm so impressed with that look it's just like it just glistens and glows which is exactly what a highlighter should do yeah really really nice and the fact that it spins is just yeah i'm anything cute and i'm just sold <laughs> and uh yeah this is just just a vision of beauty isn't it really and such a nice colour. It feels lovely on as well. Nice and creamy. Yeah, really, really nice. So here is a quick close up of the eyes for you. I love these. I think they're so nice. That shimmer is just stunning. It almost looks wet, but it's like it's not, you know, when you get some cream eyeshadows and they end up like transferring and creasing. It, it doesn't feel or it, it hasn't yet either. I've been filming this for quite a while now. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's going to do that. It's, you know, it's stable. <laughs> it's it's staying in one place. But yeah, beautiful. I think it's got a bit of a duo chrome to it as well. So as always, any products that I've used in today's video, I will pop in the description box below for you. I've actually, I am um, I joined up to be an affiliate with CC the last time I did a video because I was so impressed with it. And I've got a 15% off discount code now. So I'll pop it on the screen now, but I'll also pop that in the uh, description box below for you too. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean the absolute world to me if you did enjoy watching this video and you would like to see more content from me in the future and you would like to subscribe to my channel until then thanks for watching bye i'm thinking you were made for me isn't it my birthday yet because i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby